Hey, it's Chris Safety Dog here. Um, Sunday afternoon, getting some chance to relax and catch up on some reading. And I'm reading here Fleet Owner Magazine and their article on musing on changes to the hours of service. So I'll put that link in the show notes below so that you can read it too. You as a truck driver, are these changes good for you or not? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Here's my thought about the new sleeper berth um, change. As you know, uh, the two hours, the old eight and two rule or the two and eight rule, the two hours didn't stop the 14 hour on duty clock. Uh, only the eight did. Well, under the new rules, the eight and two or the new seven and three, both pieces of that will stop the 14 hour clock. And generally, I really think that's a good thing for drivers. However, it got me thinking, will some companies abuse it and force you to abuse it? Uh, for example, you're stuck in a loading dock for you know four or five hours, it happens, unfortunately. Uh, well, some dispatchers say, well, just put that down as three hours on the sleeper and, and you know get going. Well, that way the company doesn't have to pay you for your waiting time, or for most of it, if you're in the uh, door for four hours and you're on duty, some companies are paying you for that time or compensating you somehow. But if you write down sleeper birth time, you're not getting paid. So are companies going to be abusing this new rule? I want to hear your thoughts, drivers. Please leave me a comment down below. Uh, is this a good thing or a bad thing? And the other part that I really think uh, they changed for the good, but I never liked the rule, is the 30 minute break rule. The 30 minute break rule used to be, the old one used to say that you had to take 30 minutes off duty before your, your eighth hour of on duty uh, ended. Well, now they're changed it to on driving time. So uh, I think that's a benefit. Still don't like the rule, but at least it's better than it was that change. So let me know your thoughts about the sleeper berth, the new rule. Are companies going to abuse it? And are you going to be working more hours again for less money? That's my question, all right? Thanks so much. Safety dogs out.